New research from Fidelity Investments finds seven in 10 women own investments in the stock market, an 18% increase compared to 2023. Now that is good news. However, despite that progress, a financial confidence gap persists. How can we close that gap? Lorna Capista, head of women and engagement at Fidelity Investments, is joining us with some of the steps women can take to build their financial confidence. So Lorna, what are women's top money goals and accomplishments? Women's top money goals are around making sure that they can afford retirement, providing a good quality of life for their family, and they're going after building generational wealth, which is great. And what we're seeing is that they are making progress. They say they're saving for retirement, they're living within their means, and they're also able to financially take care of their families. I'm curious, how are different generations of women approaching their finances? What we are seeing for women across all generations is amazing progress and momentum. As you noted, seven in 10 women are now investing in the stock market, and that's up 18 points year over year. We continue to see Gen Z women lead the way with the most number of women investing. But the really good news is that we saw the biggest increases from Gen X and Boomer women. And why that's so important is they're recognizing they've got many years to live and it's not too late to start. And boomer women also have told us that they are the least financially stressed relative to the younger generations. Where do women tend to get their investing ideas? Women actually like to do research on their own, but they do turn to family and friends and advisors for guidance as they find those sources to be the most trustworthy. No surprise, Gen Z does turn towards social media for investing ideas, but 90% recognize that it's not the most trustworthy source. Lorna, wondering what tips you have to help women build their financial confidence. So even though women are making such amazing progress, the investing or what we call the financial confidence gap still exists. In fact, women tell us two times more than male counterparts that their investing knowledge is non-existent. But that's okay because financial engagement and money conversations just continue to be really important to help really build that confidence. A good example of that is Fidelity's Women Talk Money community. It's a forum that provides money conversations and resources covering everything from careers, investing, and so much more. And you don't need to be a Fidelity customer to join. It is free for everybody. Where can women go for more information or guidance on how to take the next steps? For more information and guidance, you can go to fidelity.com slash women or call Fidelity at 1-800-FIDELITY for a one-to-one -one consultation to help you on your next step. Lorna, thanks so much for taking time to chat with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.